Hey friends, welcome to Christy Reacts. If you're new here, I'm Christy and here's where we watch all the shows and movies that you recommend. And because growing up I never really watched a lot of TV or movies or went to the theaters, now as an adult I set out to understand all of the movie quotes and references that you're talking about in this channel with you. And today we're watching a movie that a lot of you recommended and it's called Dog Day Afternoon. <sighs> I frankly don't know much about this movie. I only know a couple of things and I also have a clue. I'll tell you about it. But first, this is what I know. It's from the 70s. Um, Al Pacino is in it and it's based on a true story, which actually makes it even more interesting to me. This was recommended by a bunch of you in my Ocean's Eleven movie, where I said that I loved heist movies. So I have a clue, I think maybe it's a heist movie, but if you haven't seen my reaction to Ocean's Eleven, check it out here. And just to give me a little, a little idea of what I'm walking into, I'm gonna read the synopsis and it says, true story about a bank robbery gone haywire on a hot August day when two optimistic losers, the frantic mastermind Sonny and his low-witted buddy Sal attempt to rob a Brooklyn bank. Interesting. Okay, it's a bank heist. I love it. I love it. I love it. Today we're walking into dog day afternoon. I'm excited. Before we jump in, please consider subscribing to my channel don't forget to like this video if you like it and check out my patreon where i have the full length reaction watch along style and other fun stuff like access to my video podcast and blooper reels and so forth and speaking of patreon huge shout out to all of my patrons all of my channel supporters i love you all and a special thanks to my channel sponsors bradley bradley john colson and a new sponsor called derek davis welcome to the party derek i'm so happy that you're here okay i got my hydration station and my headphones and i'm ready to watch so let's do it <laughs> Okay, I'm ready to watch, but andale. Um, there's a little trivia here that I want to read. It says, the real bank robber, John Watchtowix, had watched The Godfather to get ideas the day he robbed the Chase Manhattan Bank. I haven't watched The Godfather. Okay, I'm excited. What you're about to see is true. It happened in Brooklyn, New York on August 22nd, 1972. Okay. I like to see movies that happened in other decades because it shows me. Like New York in the 70s. Let's see. Oh, Doggy baby. Oh my god. The difference between this on the street and them up there in rooftop pool. New York in August. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Andale. <laughs> Did you see that butt grab? <laughs> Al Pacino. What's he saying? I would be so nervy. So young. <laughs> what in? Yes, sir. Okay. Interesting. It, it looks. Just keep talking like that. Was wrong. Yeah, listen up. Uh, let me call you back. Oh my God. Maybe we should take something smaller, sir. You're crazy. You started already. Literally already started. Get over by the door. <laughs> and then he, interesting. He had he had that in there. I thought it was like flowers. He moves. Take his head off. Put the gun on him. Get out of the second. I I'm not gonna make it, Sonny. I. What are you talking about? Sal, what? Where are you? You can't make it. <laughs> All right, let him out. Let him out! Do what the gentleman says, Howard. Let him out. Let him out! I'm sorry, son. 
Oh, shit. Don't take the car. But how do I get home? <laughs> take the subway. We need the car. What do you want? <laughs> well, Sonny, there's a girl under that desk over there. Okay. Wait a minute. Anybody here? <laughs> What's this, a squirrel? Hey, you. Hey. <laughs> a squirrel. Pull the drapes. Pull the drapes. Right. I like Howard. He's just like waiting for direction. We're moving right along, folks. We're gonna get this thing done in half an hour. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What are you trying to do? Trip the alarm? Use the spot key? I'm a Catholic and I don't want to hurt anybody, understand? What's a spot key? No alarm! Interesting. It's a key that if you use it, it'll it'll call the cops. <laughs> She crying. That's all there is. What are you talking about? They picked it up this afternoon. There's only eleven hundred dollars. Oh, she's telling you the truth. <laughs> oh my god. They did all that for eleven hundred dollars? You answer it. Watch him, Sal. You come with me. Watch him. No, nope, not all of it. Look, I worked in a bank. I know the alarms. Alright? Interesting. So if you take all of it. Go like this. In here. And out it comes. You got your hundred. No, 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 no. It's decoy money. It's Mark. The ship. See? He knows all of that. Cheer up, girls. You're gonna be the veterans of a bank robbery. You know the bank sends you a dozen red roses? <laughs> Is that true? Listen, we got young girls here. You could watch your language, you know. Is that what you're concerned about? I speak what I feel, you know? Watch my language. Okay. Come on. Oh, he wanna burn it. He's gonna burn his time. Sonny, what the hell are you doing? I'm burning the register here. For why? Okay. We're leaving. You left the money. Take the money. Come on. Howard. <laughs> but nobody's gonna hurt you. We're gonna leave. It's the insurance guy from across the street. He probably saw the smoke. <laughs> I'll get some water. Stay right there! No, no, please don't, please don't, please don't do it! <laughs> Everything's all right. Yeah, a uh, cigarette butt cut and a wastebasket. It's all okay now. Call the cops. Thanks for keeping an eye out, Sam. Okay. Can you just tell him, call the cops? No, no, please don't close that door. How can we breathe? I can't explain. Right. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. I'll have to go to the toilet. All right, who, who has to go to the bathroom? No, it's Maria. Listen, I, uh, I, I forgot she's in there. Shut up, come on, let's go out. Nobody goes to the bathroom. Let's go out. Andale Maria. It's for you. <laughs> what? Telephone call. Uh, for you. What? Is the police? They want to negotiate? Because you have hostages now, right? Who is it? Cops. Of course. Hang it up. <laughs> they should have done it quicker. Get in, grab your stuff, get out. Everyone wants to watch. That'd be me. What's going on here? What's going on here? Are you filming a movie? Did you ever plan or what? What did you do? Just barge in on a whim? Huh? Why'd you have to light a fire? <laughs> Alright, I gotta have time to think now. I gotta think. You keep away from this bank or we're gonna start throwing bodies out the front door one at a time. You got that? <sighs> Who's Jenny here? It's me. It's this squabble. You got a husband? Yeah, well, he's on a phone. Listen, don't do that now. Wait a minute, let me talk to you for a while, huh? How many people you got there? Eh? No, you call me back. Call me back. He said he wants to know what time you'll be through. <laughs> Sal, cover them, cover them. <laughs> Sal's just sitting there. I can cook whatever's there. <laughs> Her husband sucks. 
He's concerned about eating. Of course there's people in the back. How are you gonna get out of there? About throwing those bodies out the door. But that's what I want, and you know, that's what I want him to think. No, I don't know what you think. Sal, are you nervous? I do, I'm ready to do it. Oh. Right. Right, she's gonna have a chance to go to the bathroom. Everybody who has to go to the bathroom is gonna go to the bathroom. We're gonna do things together, okay? Now stay cool. What's the matter? Andale Howard. He's got asthma. Asthma. Does he have an, an inhaler? I know. He's got asthma. They make him a god? Well, they go to God's school. Well, they earn $105 a week, fold the flag in the morning, uh, straighten up. I don't know what they earn. <laughs> fold the flag. I got two kids, and I'd like to see them again. Don't worry, you see them again. Look, you're being very cooperative with me. I got no complaints against you whatsoever. Nice. Me neither. See what they did in Attica? Huh? 42 people they killed. The innocent with the guilty. Is that true? I won't take you with me. I'll take one of them uh, girls. Cops don't like it in the papers when they shoot a married woman, especially if she got kids. How the hell those guys get through the Wow, look at those cameras. That's a cool helicopter with a bobble so you can see everything. Are you alone? You got Confederates. I'm not alone. I got Sam. <sighs> don't tell him how many or what. We're Vietnam veterans, so killing don't mean anything to us. You understand? In the army? In the army, yeah. Give me a name, any name, just so I got something to call you. Uh, call me Sonny. Sonny. Isn't that his actual name? I'll come over there without a gun. You can frisk me so you can see, you can trust me so we can talk and find a way out of this mess. How about letting the people have the thing? Oh, come on now. I dare keep me alive. I'm going to let him out. Mm-hmm. Give me something. Give me one of them anyway. He wants one. <sighs> I would send, yeah, I would send him out. I mean, he's... What are we dealing with here? Hey, you have to keep checking me out all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How come he doesn't have an inhaler with him is he, if he has asthma? Got the keys? Got the keys? Negative. They gonna run to take him? Hey! Don't fire! Not the hostage! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold Oh my god. You take the boat! Hold it! It's one of the hostages! Get out of here! Messy. Messy. <laughs> that was. I like her. I like her. Now come on out, Sonny. Look, I ain't packing nothing. See, I ain't packing. Take it all off. You can tell, huh? Take off the pants, and then I'll trust it. If anything happens to me, they're gonna get it. You understand me? I don't forget about child. I want you to come out and take a look. Okay? Come on. No. Sonny, five minutes. You tell him that. Wait, why is he even going out? All right, come on, get back! What the f are you doing? Get back! Get him back! <laughs> get back! <laughs> Look over here, huh? <sighs> Oof! How many guns pointed at him? That's scary. Why is he out there? Come on, put one your head. All you got is attempted robbery. The most you're gonna get is five years. You get out in one year, huh? Kiss me, yeah. What? <laughs> when I'm being f I like to get kissed hey, a come lot. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> get somebody in charge here. I am in charge I don't here. wanna to talk to some flunky pig trying to calm me. Dang. What are you over there? moving in there for? Get back there, what, what are you doing? Look at him, with him. Get over there. Oh get back God. there, man. Kimbolade. Erica! Erica! Wow. People are with him. Wow. It's causing a riot.
Good job. He can work a crowd. He's loving it. He's entertaining everyone at this point. Why rob reports. a bank when you got a sucker for a mother? I will switch you now to Ron <laughs> Cummins at the... <laughs> what? Wow. She's out. Let her stay out. Come on, stay out. They're my girls. I'm going back in there. I love her. I love her. Girl, I was interviewed. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why? I, I don't know what you mean by that. I, I'm robbing the bank because they got money here. That's why I'm robbing it. No. <laughs> they got money here. You know how much a bank teller makes a week? Not much. Not much. 115 to start, right? I got a wife and a couple of kids. How am I going to live on that? <laughs> this is so funny. Sal is like slow. <laughs> I feel like there's nothing in there. You made me a promise, didn't you? Did you promise me something, huh? Yeah. Did you say either we get away clean or we kill ourselves? Did you say that? What? I ain't going back to that prison, sonny. Sounds slow. You ready to go to Algeria? Algeria? <laughs> yeah, sure. We're all going to sunny climbs. <laughs> Sal, I could make it happen. I can make it happen. She's down. Is there any special country you want to go to? <laughs> Wyoming. Oh my god, Sal. That's all right. I, I'm going to take care of it. <laughs> Wyoming. That's where my brother's cat's from. Oh, people like him. Hi. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, Jesus. I want a helicopter out of here. And I'm on a jet <laughs> to go wherever I want to go. All right, let me call them and see what they'll say. I, I, I talk to them and, and, I, and I ask them, all right? Then we'll see. Right, is there anything else I can do? Yeah, I want, I want you to bring my wife down here. Okay, what do you give us? What do you want? Women hostages. You pick out who you're going to give us, and, and, and you tell me who your wife is, all right? I say to him, Sonny, what are you going to do with the gun? You're going to shoot me, dump my body in the river, or what? I mean, I was scared of him. I've never been scared of him. Only, I didn't even hit him. I hit myself. You should have seen the bruise on my leg from here to here. Girl. He put on his hat and coat. He goes out the door. Okay. Stop talking and go to the bank. i never been up in an airplane before. So? So, I mean, I mean, safe. It's like a car. It's safer than a car. It is. But it's scary anyway. I frankly hate flying. Dragging her. Oh, no. Okay, legs. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm I'm supposed to be laughing at this, but it's just so humorous. Got a force back there, a tactical force. A tactical they like force. Shoot. They like right. to jump yeah. on ropes. They like to climb into a window. They like it, right? Without <laughs> your orders, right? Yeah. I got a guy there. in there who's gonna kill somebody. That's your responsibility. You understand? Not mine. That's your. Now wait a minute. Hold a sec. We can't get a helicopter in here, but we got a bus coming. We got a jet coming into Kennedy. All right? Okay. Now we got a, we got a hold of your wife. Your wife is coming. Who's gonna wash the kids? I got some people in there uh, that are hungry. Can okay. you get some food for them? No problem, what do you want? Want some pizzas? Yes. Yes. Oof, I love a New York slice. Some soft drinks, so, okay? Cokes? Couple beers. I'm not kind of you. Why the hell would I want to do that for Christ's sakes? I'm in trouble enough as it is. I wonder if they can, like, drug them. Like, put some slipping, like, something to sleep in the food or the drink so everyone falls asleep. And they just go in and get them. Am I being too naive? What I owe you for this? 
It's all paid for. It's paid for. No, 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 I paid for that. No, I got it, I got it. Take some tips. Get the change. Throw the money at everyone. Make people go nuts. You want this? Yes. Nice. <laughs> People just love him so much. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> I can't believe they actually do this like they get a jet. <laughs> Seriously. Is that what I need to do to get my own plane? Rob a bank? Nice. <laughs> take off your jacket. I'm hot just looking at you. Everyone, just take everything off. It's too hot. In the summer in New York, it's too hot. I just think you ought to take care of your body, that's all. My body? What for? Your body is the temple of the Lord. Oh my god. Sonny, they're bringing in your wife. Okay. Step back. Step back. Let's get back. Where's Moretti? Who's that? We went to the to Bellevue where you told us. Said he was his wife. They were married in a church. Leon! Happy birthday! Hey? But he's got eight people in there. He's got a kid in there named Sally. You know him? No, not, not really. Well, he said he's going to shoot these eight people. He's been trying to kill me since June. Yeah, he put a gun to my head. And he cut me with a knife. What? He's got a wife, children. He's a wonderful father. Right away, Sonny wanted to get me money for the sex change operation. But where was he going to get it? My God. I can't talk to him. Are you up to your neck in it, Leon? You're an accessory. Yeah, I wouldn't get involved. Actually, I'm so like, he's dealing with his own things. Like, leave him alone. He's clearly struggling. <laughs> now you think about it. I want to hug him. What do you mean you won't talk to me? Why? Now let me work out. And why I thought that was what you were going to do. Okay, so he also has a wife who we saw talking to the cops with the two kids. But he's also like married to Leon. Seven bridesmaids, all male, Sonny's mother, and about 70 other guests, all members of the gay community were present. Leon has confirmed that the gowns for himself and his bridesmaids cost $700. What does that matter? Our coverage of the Brooklyn robbery, where two homosexuals are holding hostages for their demands of a helicopter. <laughs> so, sounds like not me. Well, I'm not a homosexual. <laughs> They're sweating. It's so hot. <laughs> I keep complaining about it, but. This past summer, I was in New York, and it was so hot, I got heat stroke and fainted, crossing Fifth Avenue. That's why I'm so traumatized. Look, get the lights back on, and the air conditioning. We got no air conditioning in here. No more favors. That's all over, Sonny. I want the hostages. No, no, no. no. Bullshit. You lose all leverage. I get to the airport, I go into the plane, I check it all out, and if it's okay, then they all come out. What do you think if me and Sal slit their throats, we're gonna let you out? I have to see. Strip. Make sure that there's nothing on you. Take your jacket off. Show us. Hey, pussy cat. Hey, nobody give your right name. It's the FBI. Nobody give the right name. Tell the TV to stop saying there's two homosexuals in here. <laughs> I will, Sal. <laughs> you just sit quiet. We'll handle Sal. 
What are you talking about, you old handle saw? Like, you think I sell him out? You f no, you wouldn't. Moretti's eating. He's been eating the whole movie. <laughs> this guy is having a hard time. What's the matter? I need to get a glass of water. Yeah, he sh he should have been like without all of that. They poisoned the pizza. It's not the pizza. He's got diabetes. <laughs> this is a show for everyone out there. Do you know that you say that to me every day of your life? Oh. I'm dying. Well, you're not dying. You're killing the people around you is what you're doing. Go to sleep, Leon, so it won't hurt when I pull the trigger. <gasps> Why, what do you think I've been doing in the hospital? Oh, my God. This is going on. And you're giving me that shit. I'm, so, I'm sorry. You know what's happening with me. You know that. You're erratic, Sonny. Everybody needs money. You know what I mean? So, you needed money, I got your money. That's it. I want you to know that I'm gonna, I'm getting out of here. I'm, t I'm getting a plane out of here. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted you to know it. That's all. Yeah, well, uh, I've, been, I've been trying to get away from you for six months, and I'm gonna go with you on a plane trip, huh? <laughs> well, where? <laughs> well, goodbye, huh? I think Sonny really loves him, but I don't know if Leon loves him. Leon has been hurt by Sonny too much. You know I could call anybody, they put him on the phone? <laughs> the Pope, an astronaut. <laughs> Who do I have to call? Your actual wife. Gonna dump my body in the river. Will you just shut up? I, mean, I was scared of you, I was scared. <laughs> will you shut the f up and listen to me? You know something? You hurt me. You hurt mm. me, you know that? I, I know, I let myself get fat. No, don't call yourself fat. I know. Later, already, by the time I find out, it's just you and Sal. I mean, I can't get a babysitter. What am I gonna do? <laughs> he just hangs up on her. Oh. I have so many feelings. Mom. What are you doing down God. here? Oh my God, I don't need you down God. here. Sonny. I'm getting a plane out of here and I'm going to Algeria. It, I'll write you from there, Ma. Algeria? You wouldn't need Leon if Angie was treating you right. Oh my God. I understand. I don't understand why you want to sleep with her. <gasps> oh my God. Look, what are you going to do? All right, come out. Oh my God. I can't because... She's the worst. If there is any money left over, I wanted to go to you at the first anniversary of my death. Wow. He's giving up. All right, I want to check it out. This is Agent Murphy. He'll be your driver. No, I want him. Give me the black guy. You men shoot, aim for white meat. <laughs> <laughs> Take a walk, cop! Oh. Interesting. Do you think the driver was actually a cop? Oh, wait, he was a cop. <laughs> He's a great actor. <laughs> All right, hold it, hold it. Oh my God, just to think that this happened in real life? Smart, 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 smart. Hey Sal, do me a favor. We keep the gun pointed up. We hit a bump and the gun will go off. Mm -mm. <sighs> off to Algeria. How do you think they're just gonna get to Algeria? No passports, nothing. I don't know, I think it's crazy. I didn't think they were gonna get out of the bank. I thought he was gonna end it all in the bank for some reason, but they're at the airport. As soon as I'm done with this movie, I'm gonna look up the real story and see what's up. Maybe there's a documentary out there about it. Well, there's your jet. We get one more now, right? That's the deal. Right. Sylvia. Sylvia? Maria. Oh, okay. Sylvia chose Maria. 
Okay, bye, Maria. Sal, because this is your first plane trip. Don't be scared, okay? That's sweet. Is there gonna be any food on board? There'll be hamburgers on the plane. You ready? Nice. Sal? What? Yes, we're ready. ready to go? We don't want any accidents at this point, right? Keep your gun pointed up. What? Oh my god. That's where he realized it's all gone. I know. Dang. People are mad at him. He has to yell because of the planes. Repeat, Agent Sheldon, would you please remain on the apron until the. Oh, Sal, little shell of a man. Also, something that I noticed a lot about this movie is that there was no music. Okay, Angie lives with her children on welfare. Leon Sherman is now a woman and living in New York City. <gasps> wow. Okay. Okay. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get into it. I really, really enjoyed this movie. What a surprise movie. I had no idea what I was walking into, and when I heard it was a heist movie, I thought there will be more planning and like more of an actual heist or a robbery, but instead it was just a messy, messy situation. Um, some of the scenes felt a little long, but I felt like it translated to the viewer how long this day was for everyone and how hot it was, like I could feel it. They did a great job in making me feel there, like I was there, and I think it's because also they didn't have any background music, it was just the sounds that were surrounding everything. I truly love the cast. I think my favorite character was Sylvia. I think she was nice and brave and she was looking after her girls, but she was also cooperative and she was good to Sunny. I don't know, I, I really liked her. And I'm sad that Sal died, but I think he wanted to kill himself anyway. He said, either we get out of here or we kill each other or kill ourselves something like that and he didn't seem too excited to be on a plane so i'm really sad he died he seemed like a really nice guy i guess but al pacino played a great role here i loved how he made himself likable and and like very real he was very raw he was not apologetic at all about who he was which i loved and he could even like work a crowd when he was out there and people were really loving him it only seemed like some of them turned on him when the whole leon thing came out but i was team sonny the whole time i wanted him to succeed i wanted he was just so nice i liked him i liked him i liked his personality but then when we learn from his wife and from Leon that he was volatile and erratic and, and he was mean, the things he said to her and to him, and that's why people spent their time trying to get away from him, it really made me think, like, this is just, you know, he's nice, but don't piss him off. So I stopped being Team Sonny when I found out all of that. Great surprise movie. Totally terrible planning on their end, but it made for a great movie. I cannot wait to look into the whole real story. I want to see who he is. I want to see Leon. I want to see Ange. I want to. I want to like dive into it um, and maybe watch a documentary. But this was so cool. Thank you all for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, don't forget to leave a like and go check out my Patreon. And a huge shout out to the members of the Joey and Phoebe Club, my friends over here. And if you want to join them, go check out my Patreon. And follow me on Instagram at Christy Reacts, where I post what I'm doing, where I'm at, what I'm watching, and we can be friends. Thank you again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.